This video is going to cover the ReLU activation function and the variants of ReLU. ReLU, pictured on the far left, became a very popular activation function with its debut in the AlexNet model in 2012. This function works by taking the maximum of the input n0, thus making all negative values set to 0. Extending the ReLU is the leaky ReLU, which uh, parameterizes the negative n with some slow parameter such that it doesn't set it right to 0, but it has some value, but not, not uh, necessarily just the absolute value of the negative component. So leaky ReLU can also be parametric and you can uh, you treat the slope as a learnable parameter during training. And then on the far right is this other interesting idea of randomized uh, slope values. So the as the model runs through the data, it randomly samples slope values for the activations from some distribution. So again, this is just the ReLU function. It takes the maximum of the input and zero. The leaky ReLU takes the maximum of the input, or instead of setting it to zero, it'll uh, uh, s like set it with this slope parameter alpha. And then this alpha parameter can be uh, learned during training, or it can be preset. So randomized leaky ReLU is probably the most interesting variant of ReLU out there right now. And what it does is instead of learning the alpha or setting it and computing it, samples it from a random distribution, which could be like uniformly distributed, some kind of scale-free thing, or Either way, and then it tests they fix it to a certain value. So in the study discussed in this video, they are going to use these two network and network designs to test the variance of ReLU with respect to each other. So first they tested on the CFAR10. With the CFAR10, they find the best results with the uh, randomized ReLU function. And it's just interesting to see how uh, you know minor these differences are. But if you're talking about like things like Kaggle, Kaggle competitions and just trying to get that extra bit of performance accuracy. These are the kinds of like really fine details that are result in that kind of thing. So these are CFAR 100 results. And they tested in the National Data Science Bowl uh, this uh, plankton classification image data set too. So in conclusion, they find that the alpha parameter set to 5.5 performs the best with the leaky ReLU. And they find that you know alpha set to 100 basically performs the same as ReLU. They find that the parametric ReLU, if you learn the negative slope component, that'll suffer from overfitting. They find that randomized rectified linear was the best one generally, but it's still unclear how this affects the training dynamics of neural networks in general.